Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 47, no, oh my god, the CCL season 47 round of 64 match between Elliot and his dwarves and Andre and his necromantic. In the booth with me is Stor, baby. Hello. Hello. Can you share the screen? I can, I meant to do that before I started of course and then I literally remembered and then didn't do it. <laughs> so there you go. Amazing. Yeah, pretty amazing. I have not tried a white snake as nasty, but I can't imagine it lives up to the white Twix. Uh, so Elliot is down TV here with maybe the like a, he's got a really good team, isn't it? Is it the favourite without the wizard? Maybe not. Um, there's an Adj Five leaping wolf. There's a mighty blow wolf. There's a palming white. There's block guard fleshies. There's lots of guard and mighty blow for Elliot and a movement eight runner, sexy movement eight runner, and he's got an extra apple and a wizard. Yeah. I would think that Elliot is the favorite in this match. Yeah. With I the wizard, with too. with a lot of guard, with the movement eight, Mr. Tato, and uh, Andre only got two nice flesh golems and uh, Natch and a mind blow wall for going for him. The whites are not that great. Yeah, one's rookie, in fact, the one that's blitzing. What? Not blitzing with mighty blow. Well, I, don't I think understand. Elliot should go for the win here. I think he should. Why? Why is he not blitzing with mighty blow? Like honestly, why is he not blitzing with mighty blow though? That is weird, isn't it? And and Andre is like banger prime, isn't he? His chaos teams are always just like mighty blow claw stacked. Like he 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 goes block third skill on like even even his Nurgle teams. He just goes mighty blow claw on all of his Nurgle warriors. That's really weird, him him not blitzing that. Yeah, not what I would have done, but well. <laughs> would you have frenzy trap yourself? Way. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> As you will see in my chalice match. <laughs> Classic. Quite a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. Well, I guess it's not a frenzy trap if it, if it starts with a with a one D. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he's gone for the fleshies in the middle, which I guess is fine, right? Like it's. Yeah, I mean, you want them central. One of. Uh, I was thinking maybe Elliot would stick a dwarf on on one of them, but I guess it's a bit too early. He can just punch him and then stick a zombie on this on the down dwarf. Yeah. Yeah, I think against dwarves, like as long as you occupy the center, and they they can't if they can't punch through the center, then it's gets tricky for them, doesn't it, with their little short legs? <laughs> yeah, I mean it's hard for them to go around and be faster. Yeah, and so. with the wolves, you like the sidelines. Yeah, yeah. So it does seem tail oh, made. Oh, also, then... I I didn't really see the the good wolf. It's actually got edge five. That's pretty nasty. Yeah. Well, the pom white is niggled. Oh dear. So yeah, he really wants to keep him safe. And yeah, yeah, the edge five is pretty incredible, isn't it? Edge five leap as well. So yeah, two plus leap, but obviously plenty of guard for the cage. So. Yeah. Also. <laughs> no white with guard is pretty shit. Yes. Yeah, he's very guard light, isn't he? Only two guard. I mean, I time. wouldn't have even gone pom on white in no. the first place. I guess, I guess he got the niggle by being a Mister Fallbait. Yeah. Yeah. Like I think a pom white is good for undead, but for necro, like you just need the guard, don't you? With only having strength four. Yes. Uh, and and for support, being able to support the wolf's frenzy. Yeah. Why are your prime blitzes? But maybe he wanted to have a pommer because uh, one was an edge wolf, edge wolf and the other one's got mighty blow uh, very late. Yeah. Yes. So he wanted something to kill. Yeah, he does. Bang. He does like banging a lot. <laughs> Who doesn't? Yeah, true. True. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point, Invictus. Yeah, that's the main way. That's the main way Matty Pom is removed, people. Certainly. 
So yeah, as long as you can get like isolated hits with the walls, like maybe you can, you know, limits contact as much as possible. I mean, and it was nicely done with the pushing him into his own stand farm. Yeah. If Alia didn't want to use uh, his stand farm. Oh, and foul as well? No. Like, I know he's just completing the screen, but he could have fouled, couldn't he? Yeah, but... I mean, do you really want to? No. I wouldn't, <laughs> but uh, Andre really loves banging. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's not got a bribe, and... Uh, it wasn't a good foul. No. His bench is rather small, if I see it well. Yeah, two I bench. And, and one's the ghoul. And, you know, like, Elliot's very capable of just rolling some dice here, isn't he? With all these mighty blows. How many has he got? Two, three. Only four. Good bunch. Yeah, only four, but it's it's enough, isn't it? If they're in yeah. the right places and they get hits, you know, a few hits. Yeah, and especially if... Uh, Elliot isn't in a hurry with his uh, movement aid, so he can afford to just uh, punch the uh, flesh golems, and he gets the punches and like maybe he gets a lucky removal. He already got the got the st got the stun on one of them, yeah. so that's always a danger. Don't really want to to be down men already when that happens because of a shitty foul. Yeah. I mean, it's he's not. Singolo, so... <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but also, like, you know, if, they're, really, they're a really good high-rolling team, aren't they, Necro? Like, once they get ahead, like, it just becomes horrible. Like, once you're down men and you can't, like, stop, like, you know, you can't set up frenzy traps and stuff for the walls and you can't stop people getting picked off by them and then it just gets, it gets absolutely horrible against them, I think. So... Yeah, true, but still with one assist against Thick Skull. Or yeah, was no, it two? Uh, yeah, I think very... had one, yeah. Oof. Oh, there's the removal. Yeah. Thanks to Mighty Blow. But I mean, I do think he is... I, th I think Elliot's favourite, right? So, like, by going for the foul, you can try and get lucky in high roll. I didn't hate it. I wouldn't have been surprised to see it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have agreed with it. <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't have been surprised to have seen it. It would have been it. awful, but I wouldn't have done it. Yeah. Also, we... Uh, Missed a bit of a rowdy reroll on the wolf by Elliot. Yeah, very rowdy. But uh, I guess he can afford it, and it would be pretty good to get the mighty blow claw out. Yes. <laughs> yes, removing more claw mighty blow is good. <laughs> yeah, fun funnily enough, and I'm a 19. <laughs> Quite like removing mighty blow claw players. Yeah. You might be surprised, but in my game, I didn't really try to <laughs> remove them too much. Right. Maybe that was because he had quite a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, you had armor 7 anyway, didn't you? Yeah. So it's not really... Counter, counter it by everyone being rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then you still, still get removed easily. <laughs> yes, exactly, yeah. That's what I always think is funny when people say, like, they count a corn. It's like, well, not really. <laughs> <laughs> They're all getting removed the same. No, while wow, he's going further to the right, I thought he'd try to come back to the left with those stand-ups, you know, try and bang them down and then try and get back to the left again. Yeah, it's no, he's got his... Uh, his cage is rather isolated. Like, it's only four men plus a runner that's based yeah. wolf. On the other hand, he's probably got all the others locked in, and it's turn six. Yeah, he gets this. He gets the. Ah, oh, okay. He gets the tag. Very good. Yeah. And that one as well. If um, if Andre still had the other flash golem available, then this cage on the right would look uh, a lot worse. Yeah. Oh wow, and the four plus dodge. Well, he saved well. it all, didn't he, with those moves? I'm he could have. He could have freed so the. So uh, happy. Yeah, he could have freed the flash golem. Yeah. I. I think just staying there would have been fine. 
Yeah, I think I think freeing freeing the fleshy and then maybe he's uh maybe he's blitzing in here to get the tag. I mean the position he's in now is nice and all, but the downside of failing that in comparison to uh to the upside of succeeding is uh not worth it I think. Oof, frenzy opportunity. Yeah, but mm -hmm. it works. Woof woof. <laughs> oh, that's too good, isn't it? Oh my god! So he hits the hits the side stepper first. Yeah, now he's yeah. I mean, it's all. removal. He's got the problem of like the splitting himself in half, hasn't he? That's the problem, like four over here, five over here, it's a bit... It's not really a problem because of the movement eight runner though. <laughs> yeah, true, 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 true. But still, mm. it was it was a little bit, it was a little bit bad. I feel like Andre could have exploited it better by getting that fleshy over, but the fact that he didn't get that fleshy over yeah. made it not a problem. <laughs> yeah. Good yeah. point, Pam. You. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. The the necro only has half of half of team over here, and the other half's over here. Yeah, yeah. That's a much more effective team split. To be fair, <laughs> there's literally no nothing over here anymore. <laughs> Splitting the team off the pitch is uh, <laughs> a pretty good way. Yeah. Up hills into up hills. He gets the pushes, so he's got to do a GFI unless he can chain him forward now. And he's got sidestep on the ball. Mm. So, uh... I mean, Elliot wouldn't like to hear it, but... I think it's GG. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the push. Yeah. That's pretty annoying. Mm. Ah, so he gets the he gets the uh, gets the chain though, doesn't he? Very nice. No, he doesn't. No, not the chain step. because of sidestep. He's got sidestep. He... Yeah. Sorry, I'm a dummy. I'm a big dummy. But he, he gets yes. the fills in the squares. Yeah. And he gets the GF in the, in the blizzard. Wow, a three plus to score. I've never succeeded that once, you know. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Also, I can't imagine putting myself in a situation where I would have to score, uh, to roll three plus to score. Exactly. Yeah. The the prob the the mistakes have come in all the previous turns, haven't they? That's the that's the thing. Yeah. Please don't watch my <laughs> chess match after this. <laughs> or like half of the matches I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> This is a bit of a standard Blood Bowl 2020 runner, yeah. The the classic, the classic move eight. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy, isn't it? The dwarf runners because they will just save the stats every time and get edge four and strength four and move eight. Like they'll all be move eight. Some will be, they'll all be move eight and blodge, and there'll be a fair few with agility four and strength four. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yes, Marzam. The, uh, the it's well documented that the RNG in Blood Bowl Two is uh, doesn't work correctly. <laughs> you can just ask R five T W in the Blood Bowl Three Discord. <laughs> or Flicky. <laughs> or Flicky. <laughs> <laughs> or or anybody else, probably who complains. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Elliot went for a proper one-turn defense. Yeah. Seems sensible against a move 8 edge 5 piece. Yeah, not what I would do, funnily enough. <laughs> 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 I would definitely show him no respect and get one turned on. Uh, but yeah, this was definitely the correct thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> Survives the claw hits. Yeah. Imagine that. Unbelievable. Does he survive the foul? Or... 
Tail. Yes. Kind of. Speaking of Blood Bowl oh. 2020, um, the foul we talked about earlier in the half would have been better with in Blood Bowl 2020 because of the guard assist. Yes. Yeah. It's very annoying to not have that. Yeah. That is that is a very interesting change, isn't it? I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. To put your guard assists in and then then push him back and then you got all the assists and then plant the boot in. Oh, glorious yeah. unnerf fouling. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty cool, yeah, especially with like the change to the sneaky git as well and argue the call back. Fouling is much improved. Yeah, unless you're the one getting stomped on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if uh, dwarves would want a like a dirty player sneaky git on their second runner. <laughs> probably, Why not? Right? Yeah, probably. Oh, I have to say, the sneaky git in enough tournaments on elves is uh, surprisingly shit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's funny that you think that, isn't it? Because Pete W likes it, Purple Chess likes it, so... You think that Pete W likes it? <laughs> <laughs> he did it quite a bit. And I played him recently in uh, in the Tackle Zone, where he played Dark Elves with, uh, with Sneaky Git. Mm. And <laughs> after turn one, he said, I'll never take Sneaky Git again. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. And I, I had sneaky git on a, on a tournament with Euroball rules. Two weeks ago or so, and uh, on high elves, and it was rather disappointing. For the one or two matches, it makes easier. It complicates the games where it just doesn't work. And yeah. And it's shit, because the high elves in the Eurobo rules that are rock solid with lots of skills and TV 1150 and then just removing a play one of your own players early in the drive is shit. Yeah, yeah, it's just high variance, isn't it? So yeah. yeah. And unlike PC, I'm of the opinion that I don't need or that high variance isn't good for my chances of winning a tournament. Yeah. Because yeah, I'm so amazing. I am just so good. <laughs> I'm just so good at Blood Bowl. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> no, I really think it, it hurts more than it helps. Yeah. yeah. You won't see egos like this anywhere else, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Dimmy. Hello, Dimmy. Glorious. Yeah, so I saw that you got an, another, yet another um, instant blitz from Skaven. Unlucky to me. Oh, a Kaz. Ooh. Will we see an apple? Finally. Yes. We will, yeah. Yep, instant Skaven. Does blitz. he have a second apple or, no, or only the wizard? He does have a second apple, yeah. Two apples and a wizard. Yeah, then. He, it was always then it's not debatable apple, yeah. to take it. Being one lap with a whiz, with only one wizard, uh, with only one apple, there's an argument for waiting for a KO to win it on this drive. Yeah. yeah. But not with two. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that. Yeah, Dimmy, you always get blitzed on by Skaven, I heard. Yeah. And then got blitzed on again. I saw Johnny Five say so set another blitz. Was that true? Did you get? Did they get? Did they get two blitzes against you? That's pretty ridiculous. Just one. Oh, did, like was there something like you failed a? Did you fail something early so it was like a second blitz? That happened uh, in one of the chalices, wasn't it? Oh, it's a snake to pick up. Yeah. That only one of the chalices, wasn't it, where he got blitzed on and then he like quad scold. <laughs> so it was like <laughs> it was like two blitzes. <laughs> or oh, was it was it like the the lizard man guy who played against against the super elf team? Yeah, yeah, that was it. Yeah, the lizards. Yeah, 
just brutal. Like, how horrible is that? That's disgusting, isn't it? Yeah. But I think on the first one, he uh, kind of made it a problem because of how he played. Yes, yeah, I agree. But it, it's still unlucky, isn't it? No matter, yeah. what, no matter what you could have done. Still, there's almost always something you can do better. Yes. Who's piling because he'd already Unless fallen. you're me, then you're. <laughs> <laughs> then you're just getting diced. <laughs> You've already reached After the After playing perfectly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The only thing that can happen is dice, for sure. <laughs> really sure hands with an extra reel. Oh my god, yeah. Sure hands plus two. Wait, wait, you get, wait, you get two re rolls. Sure hands plus two. <laughs> That would be incredible. That would be incredible. Fuck Skaven and Els. <laughs> I'll just pick up the ball, thank you. <laughs> Be, oh, but then it would be sick for them as well, wouldn't they? The fucking assholes, they'd strip you and then they just run in like in three tackle zones and get three chances to pick it up. Oh, that'd be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be really horrible. Yeah, oh, I'm, 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 I'm torn then. I'm torn on that skill. We should we should make pickups uh, 2d6s. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could do. And then, and then it's like the old shadowing. You succeed on like an, a seven, no, on an eight plus or whatever, yeah. and uh, <laughs> and then with agility three and then agility four makes it better, and agility two worse, obviously, yeah. and then tackle zones make it worse as well. But then you you select sure hands plus two and get a plus two <laughs> on your to shift your bell curve. Yeah, yeah that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> Call it strong and hands and make it a strength skill. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Strong hand, strong hands and sure hands. Yeah. So you got the reroll and the plus two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Brilliant. Anything to nerf elves? That are of course elves are of course a terrible team that that cannot win matches because they simply get based up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh dear. Yes, I exactly. Simply, sensei, I would be absolutely fine with if there's nobody like in the tackle zone. You just inst you pick it up without a roll. Like I always think that should have just been a rule, right? That was the that was a rule that you could pick it up in any amount of tackle zones without any rolls um, in second ed. And I just think it's fine that you just make the you just make the pick up automatically if it's not in tackle zones. Why not? Like because that's not how it works. Obviously, yeah, that's the argument. Yeah, for that, everything. That is the argument, yeah. It doesn't look like Elliot's got much in the way to stop this, does it? Uh, especially after this turn, it like he's just seeded the drive this turn, hasn't he? Yeah, looks like he's looking for overtime. Yeah. Overtime with the, the wizard isn't bad. Mm. He does have a disadvantage on the Kequity, of course. Yeah, four rerolls to three. And, you know, if he loses the toss here, even with the wizard, it's going to be pretty tricky. Yeah, but, uh... He's still the favourite. Mm. Well, how about this? If there's no one in your tackle zones, you get an extra dice to pick it up. You should, uh... You should, uh... Call Games Workshop and tell them. I should. It's a good idea. So the Saurus would have to roll 5 plus on 2d6 oh, no. to pick it up. That's not, uh, that's not what you should do. You should go into the BB3 Discord <laughs> and put it in the suggestion, su Suggestions channel. <laughs> oh, I'm sure that'll work. Mm. <laughs> 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 I could go into the Blood Bowl 3 Discord and rant about how the RNG is broken in Blood Bowl 2. That, that sounds a good idea. Yeah, I really hope they fix it in Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> <laughs> then I will finally be able to win Chalice. <laughs> <laughs> the most diced man in Blood Bowl! <laughs> I mean, imagine how good it will be to be able, for once, just once, have normal dice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, I can only dream of that. <laughs> <laughs> it 
was great. I died somebody earlier, funnily enough. He had Burt's, so I was, you know, I was obviously instantly, instantly desperate <laughs> to not get diced to death. <laughs> and uh, and funnily enough, I diced him to death. So yeah, that was lovely. Can't help getting the impression that you're having a pop at me, Jim. <laughs> no, to me, no, not at all. Why Most would you think nice that? man in Blood Bowl. Oh well, that's, that's me. That. <laughs> that is you. That is you. It wasn't yeah, a Yeah, it is. You, by a, we're having uh. a we're having a peek at Flicky because uh, he also claims to be the most diced man in Blood Bowl, and he obviously isn't. Okay, I'm I'm the most sane diced man. In Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> how, how about that? How about, uh... No, it's it's definitely not against you, Timmy. It's, it's just like everybody says that the most diced man in Blood Bowl. No, no, I am literally the most diced man in Blood Bowl. Like, well, I mean, you just, somebody you just proved it again. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been counting up my KO rolls. So. <laughs> <laughs> Only when they fail, though. <laughs> <laughs> I've been counting my KO rolls, and apparently, according to my piece of paper right here next to my computer, I fail... Three times the amount of care rolls anyone else does, so <laughs> therefore I am the most nice man. Oh my god, St Stores, Stores 1 in 9 counter that he only updated when he felt like it was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> it would be funny, it, it's, it would be funny because it wouldn't be me, Nick. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, no, but that, like there is some, there is somebody like you know what I mean. Like some people have been historically lucky. Like nobody's obviously unlucky. Like nobody gets worse dice and and will get worse dice in future. But obviously there is somebody in Blood Bowl Two who has had the worst RNG. Right, there has to be because not everyone gets exactly the same. So there's somebody Guilty. out there who <laughs> actually has has somebody it, is the most dice man in Blood Bowl it Two. It's me, Jim. Okay. It's probably Give someone me. who didn't play a lot. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably just like one game, and it was like ridiculous, like a ridiculous dicing, and then never played. Again. And then okay, that's it for me. Yeah. That sounds like me an hour ago, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so you're the first streamer who uh, who quits uh, SFL. No, I'm not quitting. I'm, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the game, like because I don't care anymore. Do you know what I mean? So. If I don't, I mean, I care. Like, I want to win in games and stuff, but like, I don't really, really care. Like, I like playing Blood Bowl against good coaches, so I won't quit. Like, I'm, that's that's not me. Like, if my team completely died, do you know what I mean? If he killed both my flesh golems, my ghoul, and both my whites and my werewolf, then I'd probably quit. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not uh, in inquitable or whatever it is, but like, do you know what I mean? Like if 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 basically if he if he did a sage against Jimmy to me, <laughs> yeah. then yeah, I probably would have quit. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, out outside of that, then the, I I did I did quit OCC. I'm actually banned from OCC because I quit because my team basically <laughs> pulled a Jimmy basically, and uh, yeah. and I just said I was dreading scheduling because I just didn't want to play. And like at the end of the day, if it's a game that you play for your recreation, like. You shouldn't be dreading playing it. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. so just just stop putting into it. Like. And then I love the fact that, that when you get banned from a league, they say, "Well, you you're not allowed to play here," and you're like, "Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to play there anymore." <laughs> like, yeah. like, uh, I'm, I'm quitting. Well, you're banned. <laughs> no, I've quit. I mean, <laughs> SFL does the same. It's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you and quit. it's very You're important that every yeah. season one person at least quits. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't get me wrong. So that, I may, that's I may well that's quit. what I was asking, not because of you, but because someone needs to quit. Yeah. You know the funniest thing is, right? Do you know the funniest thing? Like, sorry about taking away from this game. But, it's the funniest um, thing ever. <laughs> it's not the funniest thing ever. Swarm Lord is the funniest thing ever. But the funniest thing ever for this particular game was that. I can't get a wizard, right? And the uh, corn knight killed my guard ghoul, so I induced the guard ghoul. And then not only did Skaven get a blitz against me, his blitz was against my induced mercenary guard Wyatt, which he KO'd. <laughs> so, who didn't come back from his first KO roll? So, <laughs> it was just like, it was just like a bittersweet harmony of beautiful blood bonus, basically. Like, you know, like, 
it's just like for all the masochists out there who play Blood Bowl, like every one of us, because we have to be to play it. It, it was the most like glorious uh, <laughs> return to Blood Bowl ever. Like, <laughs> just, you know, so, you know when you like, you know when you've had a break and you come back and you're like, yeah, it'll be really good. Like, yeah, it's I've been watching it. It's yeah. gonna be really good, and this is happening. It'll be bad, but I'll try. And then this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I should have I should have done a flicky. I should have done a flicky. Like that is the best clip of all time. I'm sorry. It really like, is. It's better than me falling off that chair. Honestly. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. As yeah, funny as yeah. you falling off your chair was, the fl flicky clips yeah. are the best. Holy shit. Yeah. What a legend. Love flicky. <laughs> yeah. He knows what a sausage is as well. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds way ruder than it. <laughs> it was intended. <laughs> There's just store dressed dressed up as a chef. <laughs> it's, it's not a sausage. It's, it's a sausage. <laughs> oh my god! If you don't know what's going on, there was a discussion in the SFL Discord <laughs> about sausages and hot dogs and curryverse. That's what that was about. <laughs> not anything else. <laughs> Now, Elliot, Elliot loves sausages more than I do, for sure. Mm -hmm. If you ever ask Elliot what he's having for tea, he says sausages. Like six so Elliot eight. loves sausages, but he needs does, to so. find out more about boobies. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. also, he makes noises like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to listen to that. It's so good, dude. It's so <laughs> fucking got cool good. Down. Have you got it on cooldown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll play it. I'll, I'll, I can play it myself, though. So tell us when you're listening to it, and I'll play I'm it. I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm listening. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He did yes, get he in. did get a nick. When, just ask him about uh, prayers. Prayers of Nuffle. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll play. I'll play it after the stream. It's amazing. It's it's yeah, like yeah. it's an he amazing. He took his glasses clip. off, Nick. He took his glasses off. Right, <laughs> it, like it was the it was the it was the funniest thing that's happened this month. Yeah, <laughs> 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 only eight days old, but it was pretty funny. It, it wasn't. It wasn't the Swarm Lord. Don't <laughs> don't go mental, guys. <laughs> it, it wasn't the Swarm Lord, but it was the funniest thing this month. Yeah, yeah. He just made the one sound with the, with the glass ending, like putting his glasses down, and and then then yeah, I tripled it. <laughs> oh god, so good. So yeah, so Elliot has won the toss in overtime, and he's got the wizard as well. I think he should try and like score as fast as possible, just because then he can like use the wiz to force it through. And uh, uh, Andre's got six re rolls now versus four. That's crazy. They both got yeah, an extra re roll. I really, really hope there won't be kicks because with six to four re rolls, <laughs> we have four guaranteed successful kicks. Yeah, God. And we'll have to watch all no, of but them. I mean, uh, what is he? One, two, on. Like, has he got four? Not used any, and then one, two on kickoffs. Oh, yeah, that doesn't even make sense. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what's happened. Yeah, he's just. Oh, it's overtime. So he yeah. won one on the first one, didn't you? Okay. And then they both won one for overtime. Yeah, so it's four versus six. Disgusting. How many dwarfs are hurt? One um, KO. Yeah, one KO. And one badly hurt that was uh, saved by the apothecary. Yep. What, like a dog? Hmm. So this line, I don't really like this line because it invites a lot of pressure, doesn't it? Although he can beat it off, of course. Yeah, he's got lots of guard. He will just bang on all of them. Mm. <laughs> uh, I, I don't see the play store. Can you explain it? <laughs> <laughs> you put your guard in, <laughs> and then you make 2D blocks. <laughs> we didn't follow that one. Ooh. But the problem is, like, if you do this, you just get gummed up, don't you? And, and you're not How does grab up. work against Stanfo? Doesn't. Ah, okay. In it in in Blood Bowl two, it cancels sidestep, um, so that it's a normal push on a block. In Blood Bowl three, it actually lets you place them as if they didn't have sidestep at all. There you go. Yep. Do they have it implemented properly, though? They do, yeah, they actually do. 
Amazing. I, I asked in the Blood Bowl 3 Discord and they said it works properly and I thought, I don't believe these absolute tool bags. Um, so I <laughs> so I loaded up Blood Bowl 3 and tested it and it did actually work as it should. <laughs> <laughs> What a tool bag, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jim, dear. did you ever play Dwarven Fortress? I've never played Dwarven Fortress. Ooh. Wow, spicy uphill there, wasn't it? Look at this, guys. And now he jumps in and gets a, a 1D. Yeah. Very totally nice. Yeah, oh. What a play. What a play, guys. Oh, really nice. <laughs> You won't see plays like this anywhere else. <laughs> Elliot on, not respecting I, I, the edge five. Am I reading this right? He took a leap on an edge four wolf and edgy then rolled wolf. edgy. No, but did he roll the edge? Oh god, yeah, he did. Yeah, he the... rolled the edge five after. Yeah, yeah, he took a leap on the yeah, edge four yeah. into the sidestep and then got the edge five. Look at dog. That, that's why I was saying, am I reading this right? Because that is mental. Oh well, he just got killed. Nice play, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, well, now it's a lot easier. So that was a perfect bait from Elliot. Yeah. Base Cadet would be proud. <laughs> yeah. Yep, a good bit of Space Cadet in from Elliot there. Not that I would criticize not properly protecting the ball. That's what I did the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> Classic Norse play. Yeah, but he wasn't any better. <laughs> and, it and it worked for both of us, kind of. <laughs> I like this play. I would have moved these two already and just like stranded both Toomies. Uh, not Toomies, Fleshies here. Pretty good, isn't it? Yes, this is pretty yep. nice. Very nice. <laughs> really nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now the path is basically free and he's still got a wizard. Yeah. Oh no, don't worry, Mars. My friends, he trapped himself earlier. Um, he, he's done it a couple of times, but got away with it. <laughs> yeah, but he also utilized his uh, stand firm very well quite often. Yeah. And obviously the, the times that he got Frenzy Trap were because this is dwarves with like seven guard or whatever, and he's got two. <laughs> so yeah. it's inevitable sometimes, to be fair. Did you guys mention the beef before the game? No. No. Oh wow! You didn't re you didn't mention the Christmas beef. No. Between Elliot and Andre. I didn't. Oh yeah! Oh, I forgot oh about yes. Yeah. Yeah. Big game. Big game. Yeah. Huge stake. Yeah. I I heard it like we didn't mention the beef they had before the game, but yeah, of course. Yeah, the 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 bastard wasn't he? he called him a bastard. Yeah. And yeah. that was. Uh, and Andre was not happy. Yeah. We can keep. We I can. Mean, we can include it in Spain versus England. I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that yeah. sparked Spain versus England, didn't it? Uh, well, obviously other things sparked that. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm expecting calcium cast to jump in at any time. <laughs> <laughs> Superwolf leapt in for a one D on the ball, and then got, and then just got executed by like the the dwarf that was next to him. Imagine the casting Elliot. this game and not mentioning the beef, wow. I'm sorry. It's been a long time ago. Like, yeah. multiple months. Yeah, you six can't month, Six months, that's like fresh cut open wounds. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere Paul is just like, banging at, like, his hand against his door. Just like, ah! Free Paul. That's three years ago. Oh my god. <laughs> I totally forgot it to be fair, but yeah. I guess it is pretty fresh for Blood Bowl beef. Yeah, but it's not fresh for Blood Bowl memes. True, true. There's a there's a breakthrough here, isn't there, if he wants it? Straight yeah. mighty blow through the ghoul, that looks very tasty. And there's also always a breakthrough with the wizard. Yeah. But yeah, the free breakthrough the uh He could bolt he could bolt the white and blitz the ghoul. I'm always up for a mighty blow, Jim. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> yeah, needless to say, Jimmy. <laughs> Way. <laughs> wow, that was unlucky, wasn't it? I like yeah, but it's play. also still fine. Yeah. 
It is fine. One in eighty-four. A fine one in eighty-four. Uh, eighty-nine. Sorry. Eighty-one. Eighty-one. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. We all know that you that you're good at maths. You told us all. Yeah, yeah I did. <laughs> no need to tell us again. <laughs> He's a sitting goose out here, guys. He's a sitting goose. <laughs> Wolf is so good. Hey, just the blitz there to get the fleshy. That, yeah, that was a good thing as well, wasn't it? Like, uh, that was probably the worst thing about that. That like one in eighty-one was then getting the fleshy across. Uh, and 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 just a quick note on on previous matchup experience. Eliod played Andre's Nurgle, um, I think also this year. Maybe maybe last year actually. Uh, with the vampires, Eliod won the overtime toss and then lost to Andre. No. So there, Ooh, there's, that's there's very some, uh, interesting. Yeah, there's there's some CCL history from the champ. Thanks very much, Timmy. Yeah, that's very exciting. I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Almost as exciting as curry on a sausage. Oh god, that's it's it's actually not even good. I think I know the exactly German as well. exactly Jim. That was my point, and yeah. it got completely blown out of proportion. I, I called Odon a vegetable, and uh, well, because you called it a hot dog instead of sausage. But oh, yeah, no, I called store a vegetable, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> I, I called the wrong end or a vegetable, and then uh. And then it all hell broke loose, and that was it. None of us are talking to each other anymore. <laughs> Ever again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is looking really pretty tricky for Elliot. It does look a bit rough, yeah. I but think I hear Elliot likes it rough. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, this is a good move here, wasn't it? This was way too exposed if he'd left it there. That was a good move to move it over there because the obvious thing is the side switch. Yeah, m maybe exclamation point woof should be changed to exclamation point rough. <laughs> uh, amen. Oh my god, it's so funny. Oh, hey, Jim, Jim, have you heard? Yep. Wolf, Wolf Bark had a mate that briefly had a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Wow, did he? He did, yeah. What a badass. Yeah, he, uh... he said it in your stream wow. earlier. Like, I, I, like, wow, not... rolling a three uh, plus. Uh, what an absolute yeah. badass. Imagine having a girlfriend. Holy Imagine shit. having a temporary girlfriend. That's pretty incredible, isn't it? Uh, well, I messaged him about it and he said apparently he's had more than one. I was like, what? <laughs> what? Get out of town. <laughs> How can well, you have more than one encounter. temporary girlfriend? <laughs> I know. I know. Unbelievable, Jim. I only thought it's possible to have multiple non-temporary girlfriends. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Last turn. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe the bolt. The bolt, yeah, last turn. Uh, but the problem is if he bolts last turn, he still gets to go like... You know, three, four, five, six, right? Or three, four, five, six, seven, and still hit him. So um, potentially, maybe he would have got more boxed in, or, or he could just stand on him, right? He could just stand on him with a blood stepper uh, and try and get other stuff across, and try and just stand him with a blood step. So by by keeping the bolt free, he can bolt the blood step on the last turn. But yeah, maybe maybe you should use the bolt because so this is looking bad for him. He's down two rerolls. He's got a score, hasn't he? This is uh, this is yeah. looking pretty bad. It's actually a pretty exciting game if we hadn't just talked about sausages and stuff instead. <laughs> and temporary girlfriends. I tried to get you back on track, Jim, but you just kept straying, so I'm so... Uh, you know. I mean, the sausages one. and temporary oh, girlfriends are pretty close together. Yeah. <laughs> Gets the pal. Oh. No AV break. Oh. Doesn't catch it. Well, uh, now it's four to three. Holy moly, this is yeah terrible. 
This is Chalice history in the making, I think. <laughs> yeah. No way. Oh, he's got three rerolls. Well, the lad there is in touchdown range. Yep. Is he? So it's a bolt, a blitz, and a pick up yeah. his handoff score. Bolt works. No way. Blitz no works. No way. So it's sure hands pick up in it, and then it's four three three. Yeah, and you reroll. Yeah, I think you reroll at any point. Yeah, because you're going to lose on kicks anyway. Yeah, probably. <coughs> Holy moly, this went down Oof. to the wire, didn't it? Ooh, oh my god, no. He's First year fire. What a lucky dog. <laughs> cool. oh, why is he wearing the Argentina kit as well? Like, yeah. oh my god. Like, that brings back. Was it 98? Was it World Cup 98? Uh, oh, the Beckham David, one. David Beckham and Diego uh, Simeone. Diego Simeone, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, well, yeah, Hand of God as well, Dr. Fine. Thank yeah, you for. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Stamping on my balls <laughs> while I was down. Almost like Wayne Rooney versus yeah. Cristiano. And Zanetti with a free kick, wasn't it, in 98? Oh, mate, I was so depressed. Michael Owen scored that screamer. Yeah. Yeah. Michael Owen, what a le yeah, Rick, yeah, Rick's here, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that was... goal was outrageous, it and then it, yeah, and he hated football. Michael Owen hated football. Crazy. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, YouTube. <laughs> anyway, right, yeah, let's to wrap up the let's wrap up the YouTube. Congratulations, Elliot. Commiserations, uh, Andre, who I don't hate um, at all. Um, in case anyone's wondering, he is not one of the cheating ring from. Uh, <laughs> from uh uc he's in pi and he's totally fine i don't have anything against spaniards or andre or anything like that just in case there's at least any not anything that works i do like andre i, do, I like yeah andre. yeah he's yeah they've got me yeah it's, the, it seemed that like all the spanish people thought that i had something against all spanish people and like obviously i don't it's just literally it just the the, the cheating ring in ps4 happened to be mostly spanish and, and yeah that's yeah. it Right, thank you, Stor and Dimmy, for the glorious core commentary. Brilliant stuff. Thank you, too. Jimmy, Thanks for tearing me. my reputation to shreds in front of a crowd of 100 people. Uh, yeah, appreciate that. No, no problem at all. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.